And that's this first one, man. This is a new rumor coming out. This new rumor claims to reveal that several villains are considered for the now postponed street-level story. Rumor has it Spider-Man 4 will no longer be a street-level story, but according to a new report, Marvel Studios was considering some fan-favorite villains for Spider-Man's delayed team-up with Daredevil. So I might get sad here. This might might go back to the fact that it's not a street-level. Original plans called for Spider-Man 4 to be a street-level story revolving around Peter Parker and Daredevil teaming up to battle Major uh, Mayor Wilson Fisk. Ant-Man was expected to factor into the story, and the movie was eyeing a 2025 release date until last year's strike caused chaos in Hollywood. Now the movie is expected to swing into theaters in 2026, smack bang between Avengers Doomsday and Avengers Secret Wars. Tom Holland's Peter Parker will supposedly be the former lead actor, so a simple street level is no longer going to work, especially if Doomsday ends with the destruction of Earth-616 and the creation of a new battle world-like reality. Yesterday, the Cosmic Circus reported that the plan is for Spider-Man 4 to revolve around Peter and Tom Hardy's Venom teaming up to battle uh, Null. Is that it is? Null? Null. Mm -hmm. God of symbiotes as he looks to envelop the multiverse in darkness. The site has since shared new details on what Marvel Studios was considering for a movie that once looked set to be a sequel to Daredevil Born Again, which also no longer works, following a creative overhaul, and the fact that season two won't begin production until later this year. Apparently... Multi, multiple villains were being considered for Spider-Man 4, including the Magia, Mr. Negative, Spencer Smith, the Scorpion, the Prowler. Interesting, it said Marvel still intends to tell this story, but might have to wait a bit longer. Destin Daniel Cretton will direct Spider-Man 4, while Spider-Man No Way Home scribes Chris McKenna and Eric Summers are returning to write the script. No official details have been revealed, so anything you read should be taken with a pinch of salt. It's still fun to speculate. Uh, the simple answer is I always wondered. We've seen that quote a million times over. All right, Winston. You see this, man. Um, yeah, let's go first reaction on the fact that it looks like it's not going to be street level. Your thoughts? I don't love that. I, I really don't because I think one of the things that we have realized is that there's nothing wrong with having high stakes. But like, if we if we were just talking about this just from a like I told you earlier, I had I had a, a, an audition this morning. One of the things that like a coach will always tell me as far as just like storytelling that makes sense. If you spend the entirety of the scene screaming, you have nowhere to go. So it gets boring because you're at the same level the whole time. What I'm starting to find a, a problem with the storytelling of the MCU right now, which is why it makes sense that Feige was like, let's take it to street level. But Sony's like, but we want money. Not that, you know, Feige doesn't. Um, we're constantly at this cosmic every the, the whole universe is collapsing level 24 7 the 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 variants 24 7 and when you do that the stakes never have an opportunity to raise to change you need a moment of respite so that those moments feel like a big deal yeah so if we're immediately going back into like i, I could have dealt with him in new york he's doing his thing and he runs into daredevil that that is still street level and having that one cameo is not going to be crazy but if now immediately he's thrown into hanging with the fantastic four and the avengers and like the, the battle world is showing up in doomsday and all that like that's a lot and i just want to see spider-man be spider-man most of the things that he does is uh-oh the rhino is robbing a bank like yeah. you know what i'm saying it's like, too I much want to yeah, it's too much. It's too much, and I, you know what? And I really feel bad for Tom Holland in this situation because he doesn't get a chance to do that. What you just said, Garfield got to do it, McGuire got to do it. He didn't get to do it. He just he's in this big blockbuster, over the top, you know, franchise. Which, if you look at it, this this goes back to my my point that I've been making of all these franchises, and ultimately what I think Alien Romulus did well that Jurassic World is not going to follow suit with, which I thought they were, and it's kind of more of a bummer is that they have, I just don't understand like business wise, and I still would love to talk to an executive about this because I never really understood this. You've got these like IPs that have, you know, so much value on them, like a Spider-Man, a Jurassic World, a um, all these different things. And I know that talent sometimes is the, the actors that you get could bring in a lot of the budget and that's why, right? But what I don't understand sometimes is why they don't do this thing where it's like, okay, you have a, you have this big IP that's going to get people in there. Spend the money on your marketing. Spend do what basically what Alien Romulus did. You got people in because it's Alien. People didn't know. I mean, people like, oh that that girl, Kaylee Spaney, and all the other actors in it were really good, but no, they didn't really stand out people. And 
to do stuff like that, and like the Spider-Man's different, it's obviously connect, connected to the Marvel uh, machine, but the idea of being able to bring it down a little bit, you know, scale it down. Like let let let, let us see like the actual the the bare bones of who Spider-Man really is. Is this, as he now he's trying to live in the city? How are they going to continue that on? But the the problem is that with Sony, Sony has barely no success with. They, they're really going to be hoping on Venom, and it doesn't surprise me this rumor that Venom and Spider-Man will be teaming up. Who cares about that? I love Tom Hardy, but who cares? So you're saying that in terms of what they've developed as far as this Venom character. You're not talking about the... Because if you're talking about the idea of Spider-Man and Venom teaming up, yeah. I a thousand percent sure. Care. But if you're talking specifically this iteration... I'm I talking about this it. iteration. I'm not talking about it because they haven't... It He hasn't been earned in the MCU... As a character, they, were, they they've tried. They tried with uh, Topher Grace, and they try. You know, they it's it's more comedic and like a '90s thing. It doesn't fit right. in the same way, and it's going to be. And so I don't I don't care. I don't get excited about it because I'm not excited for the third movie. Uh, and and I I hope it's good. Why why not? But I don't know. They've planted seeds, and I think what they were potentially going to do is I didn't necessarily see him based off of how they did it and just brought Tom Hardy in for 30 seconds in a post credit and then left part of the symbiote. I was thinking that they were going, because they made flash such a major character in the MCU iteration of Spider-Man that we were going to get agent venom. If you're not familiar with that, um, Christian, yeah. at a certain point, the symbiote, uh, isn't with Eddie anymore. Uh, depending on which world you're talking about, sometimes the, the symbiote leaves him. Sometimes it's like kind of a spinoff of part of it. Like we saw, and then bonds with Flash, and Flash is so obsessed with Spider-Man, as we've seen him do, and he wants to be a hero himself, he actually becomes an agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. as Venom. He, like, gets the symbiote himself, and instead of, like, all the tendril stuff that he, he still does that, but, like, he's pulling out guns, and he, he acts like an agent of S.H.I.E.L.D., but with the symbiote. So, like, if that was what we were going to go for, and maybe it's the two of them right. having to deal with Ned because there's always been the rumor that Ned might go evil like he does in the comics as far as being the Hobgoblin. All of that could be very interesting. I guess, so but but I mean, all so combine all of that. The problem is right away, as we just said to open it, it really takes away from Tom Holland getting to do his own thing because you got to team him up now with movie star Tom Hardy, right? Yeah, and, but that's why I was saying you don't do Hardy. No, so I know, you, but even but yeah. even but if you but they, but they're going to. And it, that's that's what it looks like right now. That's that's I'm saying on the report that we have right now what it actually is going to look like. That's what it's going to look like. And this is a, this is a Sony thing. Look, we we have had taken our fair shots at, at Marvel and the way that they've been running things over the last couple of years. And but they have been trying to put things back on track. And we gave them their flowers, if you will, when they redid um, Daredevil after seeing what it could be. They they they're not second seasoning shows that weren't working. They're they're making a change and they're trying to move things. So the fact that they want this street level thing and Sony is pushing on it because Sony needs a big blockbuster budget $1 billion hit. They need it and they're not going to get it. They don't think they're going to get it with the street level Spider-Man. I don't necessarily know if that's true because it's still Spider-Man. The name is attached, but it does. It does. You know, and it also probably changes the way that Kevin Feige and the crew want to design where Spider-Man goes because they got to now attach it to you know, the Avengers movies and all that. So the question then goes, and I'll ask you this, do you think that this isn't, this doesn't seem like, if I'm Kevin Feige, I'm like, okay, well, let's sign Tom Holland up to another movie, and the deal is that we get him for a street-level thing. We just won't do it first. We'll do it second after this is all over. After we blow up the multiverse and get rid of all of it, then put Holland into play for one last movie of Spider-Man, then he can pass the baton to Miles Morales. Yeah, I mean, I think that that would be the smart move if you can work out that deal. I, I, I will say, I think... You know, obviously, you've been a a, a a married, very happily married man for a while. Uh, you know, I'm practically married at this point. But the one I don't thing know about we, anymore. I'll tell you what. If, if she's gonna she's gonna knock me off my own channel. The people, the people because, because of you were on trap. I saw I saw you all watching. People together. like her better than me. She's Bro, gonna, she's gonna mean, take over this whole charming. thing. She of she course is she charming. is. Of course she's gonna take over the people. Every other comment is like, yeah. <laughs> Every other comment. I, it's great. I need, to, I need to see your reaction on it because I, I saw that this is not what we're talking about right now, but like I have such mixed feelings about that. Movie. Yeah, you should watch the reaction. But sorry, go ahead. I, I say all that to say um, back in our bachelor days, you know what I'm saying? Like if you reeked of desperation when you went up to try and talk to right. a girl, you, you made stupid moves and you came off as creepy and you came off as desperate. And Sony's 
constant push to be like, we got to make this Spider-Verse thing happen and we got to make it big. And and, 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 and Toby worked and, and, and Andrew worked. And so we put, we put them all together again and then we get the Venom and then we do the, 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 the Sinister Six. Oh my God. And then Madame Webb comes back. I know it was shitty, but we're going to we're gonna bring that back. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be great. Like, yeah. you sound unhinged desperate. Yeah. by in desperate trying to force this. Well, because they can't get anything to work without Marvel without their help they know that if they have the mcu attached they can make some money and put some in it so rothman is exactly what you said just desperate saying we need to do this we need to do this oh my god we have to do it um and i think it's a bad move it's not that the movies can't be good but the teaming up but it does seem like it's almost like speaking a trap that Shyamalan was like hey we could get a we get an actress to to play the singer hey wait a minute um i'm gonna put my daughter in it is I'm it gonna, his daughter or is his niece it daughter. was his daughter his daughter okay she says, I'm gonna put my daughter in it. Why? Well, it's gonna save us some money. Plus, it's my daughter, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. And that's what they're doing with Venom. You know, it's like it's it's like yeah. they're doing with Tom Hardy's Venom. They're like, they, you know, Feige's like, okay, fine, we'll put our our Venom. No, no, put our Venom in there. Why? It's not because it's a Sony movie. We want it. It's part of the deal. And you're like, ugh. So, because it, it, I, it was funny because I was thinking to myself when I was watching that. Uh, regardless of the familial relation specifically, it felt like he wrote that whole movie for her. Because right. it felt yeah. like, yeah. again, not to make this a whole trap conversation, but the number of performances mm -hmm. that they really just focus on her being a pop star because she is a musical artist, it felt like he wrote that for her. And that's what it feels like Sony is trying to do right now is to shoehorn the thing that they really, really want when everybody else is like, what if we didn't right now? Like, like right. what if we just take a break yeah. and we will get back to this? You got to build the stakes again. We haven't earned them right now. That's a hundred percent right. Um, so I don't know, guys. What do you think? You think this is silly, the street level thing? And the we didn't really talk necessarily about the villains. I mean, I guess we got, let's let's do that before we move on to the next story because all these names that came up. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we have uh, the yeah. Magia. Not as familiar, but I believe that's that's like a mob family. They have Mr. Negative, which mm -hmm. very, very interesting character, was the main villain of the first Spider-Man game that was released on PS4. Uh, Spencer Smythe, uh, Smee, Smythe, uh, depending mm -hmm. on how you pronounce it. Spider-Man, the animated series, he's the right-hand man of the Kingpin, but he's like a, a, an, a, an inventor extraordinaire. Like, I think that that would be really interesting. Obviously, the Scorpion I know you're familiar with, and the Prowler yeah. I'm sure you're familiar with now after... Um, Spider-Verse and everything. Um, I, I think any of them could be really interesting. Don't bring me the Prowler if you're not bringing me Miles. That right. would be actually very upsetting. Um, Scorpion is is also interesting. I think the best one to go with would probably be Mr. Negative. Um, and if you're going to go Kingpin, then you can bring Smee in there. Smee, like, you know, uh, I've seen it pronounced both ways. Okay. 